Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we're going to play Everton and Manchester City both in the Premier League and both matches will be at home. Manchester City currently sitting in second position in the Premier League so it's going to be a big big battle at the top. There's been no fixtures since you've missed the Qatar 2022 World Cup was happening during November. And actually Italy went on to win it, so in case anybody was interested, England didn't even qualify. <laughs> Never mind. But just a quick reminder of how things are going in the Premier League. We currently sit top of the table level on points with Man City. That's why it's such a huge game. We're also playing Everton, of course, who are no mugs. They've got the top scorer in the Premier League in Moyes Kane. And they are fighting for a Europa League spot. So let's get to the first game, shall we, which is at home against Everton. This is how we're going to line up. Jack Butland will start in goal. Bella Kocap, Pitella and Onjin in the defence. Tilo Kerra is currently injured for a couple of weeks more. Dodo and Ender Stevens will be our wing-backs as Luca Pellegrini has just returned from injury and we're not going to risk him today. Marcus Antonio and Dani Olmo in the centre. Renato Sanchez again's returning from injury, so uh, he's going on the bench, so he might get some game time in the second half, but I would prefer not to have to use him. Jean-Pierre will, of course, be in behind Haaland and Esposito. Everton come at us pretty defensively with a 4-4-1-1. Um, Sigurdsson's still playing. Solomon, the Israeli um, attack on that right-hand side, who's very, very good on this year's game. Um, they've got some decent players as well. Denny uh, is always like physically well-rounded and a good centre-half. Yeri Mina, Bernard, some regular faces for Everton, but um, they're doing well in the league, so we really need to up our game if we had to get a win today. Now, of course, obviously, with both games being at home today, it would be ideal if we were to get back-to-back -back wins. Putting ourselves three points ahead of Manchester City would be huge for our title challenge. As the first highlight comes with Danny Olmo with the corner, it's cleared by Yeri Mina, but Jean-Pierre keeps the ball alive. A little bit of a dodgy pass to Bella Koch up there, but we retain possession quite well. And we look to build something after this corner. Batella on the right hand side. I'm not happy with both of our centre backs being uh, still up the pitch, but they have crafted a, uh, crafted a chance to cross it in. Bell or oh, Bella Kotchap knocks it in. Esposito with his header slightly wide. And that was the only thing that happened in this first half. Not a great start by us. The match stats we are dominating, but clearly not creating good enough opportunities. Uh, no changes required though, we are dominating the game. Let's see how the second half goes. Dodo gets to the byline, goes for goal, but it falls to Esposito at the back post. And within 20 seconds of the second half, we managed to put ourselves 1-0 up with Esposito's 12th goal of the season. I did think Dodo was just going to hit the side netting, but he managed to uh, somehow get it across to the back post. Was it actually a cross or was it a shot deflected by the keeper? I think it was a shot deflected by the keeper, but we are happy with that. I don't care how it goes in. 46 minutes in, 1 0. Happy days. 25 minutes to go on the clock. There is another highlight, and it's Dodo once again coming down this right hand side for us. He's brought down by Bernard. Get that penalty call. It's going to VAR. He has given the penalty, and it's going to be Haaland who steps up to hopefully put us 2 0 in front with only 20 or so minutes to go. And there it is with his left foot. 20, 66 minutes in, 2 0. His fourth goal of the season. Obviously, he's been injured for quite a bit of it, so. You don't expect too many goals from him at this stage, but hopefully this could spark a little bit of form in Haaland and um, rifle us up the table there. We are 2-0. We'll look to make some substitutions now. Ender Stevens is going to have to stay on. Dodo can come off for George Baldock and Marcus Antonio can come off for Mariba. Um, he will play the box-to-box -box midfielder role. I'll have to show you Mariba at some point. He is looking absolutely wonderful. He's really improving well in training. And I think the increased in game time he's getting in the first team, particularly off the bench, but sometimes getting a start, is absolutely wonderful. As he goes in behind, oh, Jordan Pickford with a double save to keep him out. Would have been nice to see him get a goal after only being on a few minutes. Ten minutes to go in this one. It looks a little bit too comfortable for us. We'll get Renato Sanchez on for Danny Olmo to hopefully increase his match conditioning. And this looks like it's going to be a comfortable win for us. 90 minutes plus four. We should be able to survive that, but there is a corner for Everton. We managed to get a clear by Ender Stevens and Esposito can drive forward. Now he's 2-on-2 two two with Haaland. He beats his man. He's going all the way by himself. He goes for goal. Pickford with the save to keep him out. Would have been a nice second goal of the game for him. We'll stick with it though. Ender Stevens with the corner. It's whipped in. It goes all the way to the back post. Bouncing in the box. Um, it's usually a good sign for us, but Everton actually get a clear. And Gilfie can come forward and tries to play the ball and there's nobody there. But uh, Onjin's header was a little bit panicked. Solomon switching the player uh, to Butenik on this left-hand side. Hopefully, there we are. We'll get the ball out. That should be end of highlight. 
And now we have the boys a comfortable 2-0 win against a very, very good Everton side. We managed to keep Moyes King quiet for the entirety of that game. I don't even think we saw him touch the ball, which is nice to see, considering he's probably one of, if not the best striker in the Premier League. Well, quickly, I just want to show you him, because he, he looks absolutely amazing. He's very, very talented. Um, and the more game time he gets at Everton, though, the better he's going to get. He's got 11 goals in 14 Premier League games for them. We'll take a quick look at Mariba as well. Whilst we're here, whilst I remember. So obviously he's come in for a couple of hundred K from Barcelona this season. And he's just absolutely superb. I'm not sure if this is how he usually turns out in a football manager game. Or have I just got a particularly high potential one. But he has been proven every, every training session he's one of the top trainers. So I'm hoping to see even more from him. After that win against Everton and then we still sit top of the table. Man City equalising um, our points on 36 each. They must have won. They beat Southampton away from home in their last game. Uh, one more game to go. It is against Manchester City, of course. Uh, there is one more game before January, which is an FA Cup third round game against Arsenal. I'm not going to show that one. It's just going to be Manchester City today. So I'll see you there. So we're at the Manchester City game, but I thought I'd just quickly show you the club vision and how things are looking in terms of my managerial performance as judged by the board. The only negative to sort of speak to the club culture is the signing of high reputation players. I mean, the fact that most of the players we sign are under 23, um, it's highly unlikely that we're ever actually going to sign a really high reputation player unless it's a direct replacement for someone who's left from the first team. So... I've got a feeling that will always be a black mark on our record. But apart from that, pretty much everything else is going pretty well. Our manager performance is listed as an A. The board are absolutely delighted with the way you are leading the team. That's happy by me. Uh, they're pleased with Gibbles' performance. Happy with your level of support in the squad. I'm pleased with the positive atmosphere in the dressing room. Um, we already be became recognised as the best of the rest due to our performance last season. So that was already a marker that was hit. In terms of the cup competitions, we're reaching the fourth round of the League Cup, which we've already done. We're in the quarterfinals. Obviously, the FA Cup is still to come. We've got the FA Cup third round against Arsenal after this Manchester City game. And everything else seems to be going pretty well. But, let's get this Manchester City game. This could theoretically have a big impact on the rest of our season. If we are to win this game, it sort of really establishes us as a title contender. If we were to get beaten this game... Maybe we've got a lot more work to do. And we are struggling. Both of our uh, right wing backs are either injured or suspended. George Baldock's out for three weeks. Dodo is suspended. And my assistant manager is recommending using Ender Stevens, our backup left wing back, at right wing back. <coughs> and that's what we're going to do. Um, and I think maybe just for this game, we'll change him to an inverted wing back just because he's obviously left footed. Um, he's not right footed. So having him cut inside might be able to. Get the best out of him in that position, even though he's not particularly comfortable in either the position or the role. But in terms of our starting lineup, it is exactly the same as what we faced Everton with, apart from the right wing back change. So not much to talk about there. Let's get into the match. We are at home against Manchester City, so you would hope that we will give them a good game. But they are still probably the best team in the league alongside Liverpool. Um, just not performing at the top end. Well, Liverpool are, Manchester City are. Um, and you would expect them to at least give us some problems. Phil Fodden, of course, one of the best players, uh, best young English players on the game. Starting in attack midfield behind Sergio Aguero, Thomas Lamar, Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, Luis Porro. I'm not even sure who that is. Where is he from? Um, Girona. So they must have signed him from Girona. Connor Cordy, which I'm still baffled by uh, why they signed him. Laporta, Angelino and Edison. A very good side. Um, well, let's see how this goes. First highlight of the game. Six minutes in. Danny Olmo with a corner. He finds Haaland at the back post. And we go so close to taking the lead. Another highlight now. Thomas Lamar coming down the left-hand side for Manchester City. He gets stopped. But it does end up going to Angelino. Switches the play to Bernardo Silva. And what a challenge. That, that was a great challenge. Do not... Is, is he give a penalty for that? That was a fantastic challenge by Luca Pellegrini. And we've just been screwed by VAR. It's like real life. I mean, no way. You should be getting them decisions right. But there we are. Thomas Lamar with his 11th goal of the season puts Manchester City in front. And we find ourselves bitterly disappointed that that was even a conversation that needed to be had between the referee and VAR. So going by the match stats, things are going well inside the first 25 minutes. But we are 1-0 down. So you would expect our players to certainly up the game in terms of the attacking department. 
but the first half is ticking away and we're not creating anything. And there we have it, the end of the first half. Absolutely nothing occurring after that first goal by Man City. Let's kick back off for the second half and hope for something better. But first off, there's a highlight. It is going Manchester City's way. Sergio Aguero on the edge of the box. Whips it over to Thomas Lamar on the left-hand side. No rash challenges, boys. Don't want any other penalties. Thomas Lamar's in the box. Finds Angelino back post. We'll manage to clear as far as Pedro Porro. He's in the box. He takes his strike. I shouldn't have mentioned him before the game. Of course that was going to happen. It was a good strike, though. His first goal of the season beating Jack Butland at his near post. Disappointing. 2-0. I don't think we'll deserve this, but you get... It's, it's rough. No, we're skipping this. Now, if we get a goal now, 52 minutes in, we've got plenty of time to get that equaliser. Ender Stevens with a throw and finds Harlan. Marcus Antonio in the box, whips it in Esposito. And that's as simple as you like. Sebastiano Esposito's 13th goal of the season. That's the 11th assist from Marcus Antonio from central midfield. And that brings us well, well back into this game. And I think it's thoroughly deserved. Antonio with a good cross. Esposito completely unmarked and that's another headed goal I'm seeing a lot more of that from him 56 minutes in now Esposito driving in from the left hand side he gets in the box if he gets that on target it's going in the net but the keeper didn't move at all Marcus Antonio's picked up a knock in the centre of midfield we'll get Mariba on for him 18 minutes to go now we really need to start turning it up and getting some opportunities under our belt Bella Kotchap switches the plate to Pellegrini beautifully on that left hand side he goes for goal why does he go for goal? Another highlight now. It looks like it's going to be a Manchester City break with Bernardo Silva driving forward, playing a back to Rodgers. Thomas Lamar on the left-hand side has got Angelino overlapping. But um, the key possession in the middle of midfield and it gives us a little bit of an opportunity to get back and defend it. But they retain possession too well with Pedro Porro on this right-hand side. Gives the ball away. Bella Kotchap finds Erling Haaland. Can we break ourselves? We've slowed it down too much. Bella Kotchap gives the ball away to Fiorentino Luis and Rodgers is in behind now. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Thankfully, he missed. But, I mean, we're going very attacking for the final 10. We're going to make some changes. We're going to get Gables on for um, Erling Haaland, who hasn't had the greatest game up top. And I think that's the only change we're going to make for the final five minutes. See if our boys can do anything. Thomas Lamar with a free kick for Man City. Finds Divock Origi. And that's the end of the game. Second goal of the season for Origi. And Manchester City are going to come away with this on from, with three points. And... I can't help but feel a little bit disappointed. You know, we've played well in this game. They've only had four shots on target and scored three of them. Um, um, and at least gone by the shots, at least, we've dominated this match. But that first penalty really took it out of us. And we've paid the price. We're down to second. So now Manchester City, three points clear. And with two... Uh, well, not, we've got two extra goal difference, but they're three points is all that matters here. We're still one point ahead of Liverpool in third position and two points ahead of Arsenal in fourth. But that was my concern. Like, the top teams are really performing this season. You know, nobody's dropped off hugely. There's four of us there, all within five points of each other. And then even if you go a step further back, there's West Ham and Chelsea in fifth and sixth. with only nine points behind Man City and six points behind us. So it is a pretty compact top six. And if we're to... Uh, the title... It's probably difficult to go for this season. Ideally, we would like to go for Champions League football. And I definitely think that is a real possibility after the way of start the Premier League. You know, discounting that defeat, we have had such a good start. Only three draws and the rest wins. So, second half of the season, we've got a lot to do. But I'm confident we can get Champions League. Looking forward to the next episode. We're going to play through the January transfer period. And we'll probably play Liverpool and Arsenal in February after that. And do a little roundup of how our transfer window has gone but that's going to be enough from me today if you have enjoyed it please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy